So I've said this before, we are in a war, right? And the scariest thing about being in a war is when you don't even realize it because at that point, your enemy can blindside you. Now they will tell you, you know what? We are doing all of this stuff for your safety and for your health. That is a flat out lie. I have been doing research concerning so many different corrupt things in our world for years. And let me tell you, there are cures. Um, these different things have been suppressed. People have been jailed for trying to talk about and sell different cures. So it is really crazy um, what is going on and how information and cures are being suppressed like nobody's business. Um, this whole thing, shutting everything down, creating things in a lab, you know, all of this stuff, Big V, it benefits these very powerful people, not us. The first reason they're stirring this stuff up is the fact that they want to test our compliance, right? Are you going to cover your face whenever you go out? Are you not going to see your family? Okay, very good. Wow, you're so obedient. Now that lets me know how much more I can get away with doing, right? They want to test your faith in the media. How much are you going to believe of what the media is telling you? Are you going to let the media control your life and have you living in fear? You know, you're going to shut your business down and not be able to provide for your family. Go bankrupt. You know, all of this stuff is really crazy. But again, it is to test our compliance. Second reason, they want to keep us dependent on the government. Right? All of these stimulus checks. People were scrambling. Right, They were scrambling, trying to figure out, how am I going to feed my family? What am I going to do? Many people lost their businesses. They lost their homes. Um, they lost their jobs. So there were a lot of things going on that just kind of pointed back for us, that just kind of directed us back to dependence on the government for help and trying to figure out what our next moves are. And there's a big thing that's being talked about right now, the eviction, uh, the federal eviction moratorium, which is supposed to expire today, right? All of these people who basically were exempt from being evicted if they couldn't pay their mortgage or they couldn't pay their rent. And now that is going to expire. So what's going to happen? If that does expire, well, a lot of people are going to lose their homes and those homes go back to the banks, right? Which again, it's, it's about these bankers, they're getting richer. And when people don't pay their mortgage, it can collapse the financial system. And the bankers will probably nationwide repossess at least 10% of the properties. So again, all of these recessions happen, it benefits the bankers, not the people. You know, unfortunately they are trying to impoverish our country and uh, these moratoriums can actually bankrupt landlords, right? Because they have all of these people who are not paying their rent. And how are these landlords supposed to make money? And there's a guy who's running for mayor in Minnesota. He wants to set up a debt amnesty program um, to stop the enforcement of the bankers' rights to be able to just take people's homes. So I know there's been a lot of talk where, you know, politicians have been talking about, oh, you know, extend the eviction moratorium until October 2nd. But then what happens when October 2nd passes? These people are put back in the same situation because unfortunately, a lot of people have not been able to get back on their feet after CBD and the lockdowns. So another reason they want to uh, create Big V, shut everything down and keep everybody in bondage is to create a new world order. Um, 
and a one world government, which that's what it includes. And a lot of people may not realize that this is a real thing, but it is. And um, mergers and acquisitions is the proof of it. A lot of people look at acquisitions of companies that are doing well and they're saying, wow, you know, if some big tech company bought you out, that means, you know, you're really worth something, especially if they were able to acquire you for a lot of money, right? We look at uh, Google uh, acquired YouTube uh, and Android and all of these big tech companies are starting to merge together. That is not by accident because you'll see with a lot of stuff on social media, they're all united in, you know, what they say and um, their policies and, you know, how you're able to speak on their platforms. It's all one united front, bringing us closer and closer to a one world government. So I was looking and I was doing some research and an article by Fortune, um, they gathered information from Yelp and they found that nearly 100,000 businesses were permanently shut down after the lockdowns. And a lot of these different businesses are still struggling to this day, the ones who did make it through, to stay afloat, to get business. It is really crazy. And that is not by accident, right? They're trying to make it so everything, all of the different businesses, uh, tech companies, Everything is under one big umbrella. So I was looking at the information and it looks like workers lost 3.7 trillion as a whole during the lockdowns, while billionaires gained 3.9 trillion dollars. Right? So who did all of this stuff really benefit? Right. They want to control all of social media, which was one of the reasons why a lot of people know that Parler was shut down. Um, you know, they couldn't gain enough control over it until they feel like they got to a space where they were able to have enough control over what's being said on Parler to allow it to reopen um, Gap. And I know I talk about them a lot, but it's very relevant to what I'm talking about in a lot of my videos recently because they have tried so many times to hack uh, Gab, to shut it down. And because Gab has its own server, they were unsuccessful with doing that. Why? Why do they need to shut it down? Why do they care so much? Because they want to control what is being said all around. They want to control free speech. But if they find something that they can't control, then it's getting in the way of them having their one world government. Why do they need to control everything, right? Why do they need to own all of these companies? Google, since 2001, has acquired over 200 different companies. And guess what? They're not done, right? All of these different big companies, even outside of Google, they're going to acquire, inquire, try and shut down small businesses until they get to a point where they own everything. They want to silence people. Right? They don't want you talking to each other. They don't want you saying certain stuff online. You know, that's why people have their videos shut down. That's why people have their accounts deleted. And that, that is why they want you to wear a mask over your face. Right? That is, a, that is a symbol to say that we do not want you to speak to other people. Uh, reason number six. So that they could create the biggest heist in America right? Stealing what didn't belong to them, saying that a certain person won when they didn't. And now we're in the process of fighting that with all of these different states, right? They're, they're nervous about what's going on with the audits. And you know what? I got more information coming on that, even concerning um, a dream I had. Uh, so I'll talk about that in my video next week. Number seven, wanting to push Big V. And I do believe that one of the plans of Big V is to kind of wipe a lot of people out of here. So what can we do knowing all of this stuff that is going on, 
because a lot of people are like, oh my gosh, it is a lot. And what I read off on that list is not even the half of it. Okay. And you know what? At some point, we'll probably do a part two um, for this video. First of all, what we can do, yes, the word tells us and everything by prayer, of course, we need to pray. But like I always say, faith without works is dead, being alone. Um, so we need more than that. We need to pray that God shows us how we can contribute to stopping all of this evil that is going on in the world. Right? What What is our role in all of this? Because God has a major plan for each and every one of us out there. Another thing that a lot of people have been doing, and, and I've been doing that from time to time too, because most of us, we just want to live our lives in peace, right? We want to be with our families. We want to enjoy our lives until it's our time to go home and be with God. But one of the things we have been doing is going along to get along, right? Well, I'm just going to wear this mask. I'm, I'm just going to get Big B because, you know, I want to be able to travel. I want to be able to live my life. And as long as a lot of us are going along to get along, even if we know something they're doing is wrong, they're going to continue to, to do it because they're like, oh yeah, if we can just say, you can't do this or you can't do that, you can't work. And then people are going to comply and just say, okay, well, I guess I got to do it. Then they're just going to keep doing it. But you see in a lot of other uh, different countries, people are starting to test because they're at a point where they're like, enough is enough. We're not going to take this anymore. And I believe that's the point we do need to get to um, if we are going to try and stop these evil people. So anyway, um, I know this video has been long. Share this video with people you know and love so that, you know, um, they can just have a taste of information about what's going on and, you know, why they're trying to do all of this. And I know a lot of you, you know, you probably have other information that I have not gone over in this video. And if you have other reasonings as to why they're doing all of this stuff, leave a comment below. I would love to hear from you. But until the next video, thank you so much for watching. Take care and God bless you.